Uh-huh. Oh. <clears throat> Savages. Demo, say that you had several wards, tribes, each with its own sense of beauty, sense of home, and they relied upon one another to exchange information and amassed the complexity that allowed the legacy that facilitates their existence. <sighs> I guess, um, nation of tribes then? Yes. Perhaps then that they decided the others were a threat to their own sense of home, their own strength. Yeah, that's, um, that's quite a, I would no longer, but isn't that why we're killing them? Yeah, I guess. Is there any more meat? Oh, here it is. Oh, not that that's of any use. What was that? That was the, uh, the bypass security conduit. <laughs> Father always told us that if you were going to do something evil, that you have to continue doing it until you find out if it's part of you, if, if you like it or not. Then... You're not, otherwise you're living in fear of judgment of everybody else. Oh, Ares. What I had told them was that if you, whatever you do, whether it be hurtful or helpful, that you mean it. That you do something that comes from you and not to live in fear of other people's judgment. Because then real goodness comes from choice, not from fear. No offense, boys. None taken, father. So otherwise, you have exactly what is what caused these people to get the extinction order from our father. I was t I was eating the head of one of these mortals the other day, and I found that my tongue had grazed their amygdala. Oh, and I could taste their fear. I could taste their trauma. Mmm, trauma. And I found that there is this absence of the ability to be supported by reality. That there are no incongruities with the mortal world, and therefore limitations. The, the universe cannot take the form of their consciousness, and therefore is incapable of giving them what is necessary to provide them their sense of meaning, however meager. And that perhaps that is where much of their sense of loss comes from. Perhaps if they were given enough before, they'd be more willing to lose now. They would hold on less. Their need to control and dominate would be less profound. I don't know. I think that... I think many creatures hold on to domination because love and dominance are the only two things in reality that, as Phobos said, grant the feeling that the universe takes the form of our ideas and supports them in a way that shows that we can get everything we need out of the universe, gives us a sense of security, of hope. But that love is superior to dominance. Watch it, Didy. However, in a 1.25 GEV universe, that they cannot afford to love. They have to, that people do not want domination, they resort to it as a defense mechanism to have to control and dominate to survive. That had our father and Hermes not half-assed the universe, Me?
Yes, you. That perhaps mortal kind would be able to... afford to experience true love instead of being these malevolent creatures that lay before you now. See, that's where he gets this stuff. See, you, you're like your mother. Demos, you're like me. Hmm. This poetic mumbo-jumbo. Aphrodite, no amount of hardship can make you a bad person. If they're doing evil things, it's because they're evil and they're always going to be evil. And besides, even if you wanted to um, re-energize the universe, mortal beings had to become part of the desiccation in order to be competitive, to become the best at being in a dying universe. Death had to become part of what they are. You could not take the rot and the decay and the depravity away without destroying them anyway. Perhaps in, their, in the wake of their demise, a new race of beings that will be trustworthy and consistent, truly good, could take their place, if ever such a thing exists. <sighs> Is this thing ready yet? Patience, Demos. Did you, did you two boys put the, uh, the uh, Terra Nubal back? Yes, Father, stop asking that. Just making sure. I wonder if I have more meat on me anywhere. Oh, more meat, more... So, um, are you boys doing anything other than slaughtering people, or...? Um, hmm. We were having some... There's in the the game's political Toridan again. Uh, power and dominance. You war gods are the worst. What is that tune? I was attempting to recapture this moment from a dream I had. The one with the baby and the broken necks and the, the tiled operating gallery and the window with the, with the crooked mar marker words that said, please not. With the exception of that last part, yes. No, not my dream, not my dream. Oh, that's what you dream about? Where did I go wrong? Around the time you started bo borking my dad. <laughs> Oz and Todd's and Oz and Todd. Hootie hoot hootie. Hootie hoot hoot hoot. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. You stop saying that? What, hoo ha? <laughs> oh, damn. Would you please hit me again? It's been so long since I've been touched. You know what? <laughs> you two. It's just weak. Um, we're filled with blood and evil, my boys. Um, <laughs> you're more comfortable with being uh, struck than caressed? <laughs> what have you done to my... Why do I allow this to... Why do I allow you to do this to my children? Because you love it. <laughs> You might have a point there, Mother. Silence, Phobos! All right. Fine. I remember when we met, Aphrodite. I saw you there, leaning over. And I grabbed you and picked you up, thinking you were any other quarry. But once I touched you, 
Everything changed. Your mother, as I picked her up and we left the room, your mother outstretched her arms to the beams of the, of the, the doorway, the door hinge. And it was then that I realized her body had done something. She had changed in some way. She gave something to me that showed me this is... She showed me what it meant to be with a goddess. I didn't know you could feel something like that. So this is... This is... This is what being with a goddess was meant to feel like. And I had been deadened to it all this time. Every goddess had it, but only your mother could show it to me. Could make me feel it. Her presence permeated my armor and lit my fuse, and she was going to make me blow, and there was no escaping it. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, nobody fucks like your mom. Oh, this fucking story again. <laughs> you know, Ares, if you would take a break from murder and mayhem, we could have times like that again. <laughs> we could have times like that right now. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, dear goodness. Oh, Gadfly Gatsby. <laughs> oh, Hephaestus! <laughs> Get some every time. What about me? <gasps> oh, my face! saw that. You forget you saw this. What about me? What about me? <sighs> As of now, I'm no longer in the mood. <clears throat> Boys, yes, father, I am going to murder you! Uh-oh.